Okay, guys, I'm going to walk you through how to create a template. So I'm going to go to this uh, ptouch editor, which uh, is a free software that comes with the printer. So I'm going to go to a new layout. So I'm going to place uh, three objects here in this uh, template. Uh, one being the, uh, the barcode. Uh, I want to put a barcode here, show you how it works. And then uh, I'll put two more text fields uh, in a minute. So I'm just going to put some uh, placeholders here. And uh, the protocol, you can use uh, many different types of protocols. This is the regular barcodes, uh, single dimension. Uh, for this uh, demo, I'm going to use a QR code. Uh, you might have seen this uh, kind of QR codes in a lot of products. Um, so this uh, can actually hold about 1800 characters in a very small footprint. So it's very good. It's, it's a very popular uh, format. So I'm going to actually place this QR code here. Just going to make this uh, bold and I'm going to make the description uh, a little bit less in uh, font size and then I'm going to make it italics just to show you how it looks. Now um, I just have to name these objects into a you know I'm going to give it a meaningful name so that uh, when I pass the data I have to refer to that uh, you know the object label. So I can go to properties here and actually I'm going to change this to uh, QR code so that's my object name so for the item field I'm going to give it a name as well so I'm going to call it item and for the description I'm going to call it uh, I'm going to give it a short form here okay um, now uh, we're almost done so I just have to make it an auto length so that uh, once uh, the data gets printed, the printer will automatically cut the label. So I'm going to actually save this as a uh, template. Okay, so I'm just going to call it uh, or, um, just item. And then I'm going to save it as a template. Okay. And then I'm going to put it in my labels folder. Save. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have. Um, we have created the label so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to transfer this label into the printer um, this uh, particular template we designed so the template is nothing but uh, a placeholder for all these objects so once we send the information the data to the printer it will actually replace this uh, you know whatever uh, uh, placeholders we have with the actual data we passed okay so that's what the template does so this template I'm going to actually drag and drop into the printer like that and then um, actually our printer uh, has only one label right now so once I actually transfer this uh, this new label I'm gonna click transfer and uh, it's actually eventually gonna transfer this label into the printer okay now um, this printer also comes with a nice uh, web interface so if you type the IP address of the printer uh, a nice um, uh, interface will open up and you can actually check uh, you know the templates and do a lot of maintenance on this printer So go to printer settings if you want to verify the template go to ptouch template and it is showing you the the new uh, label we just uh, designed the template and it is actually stored in the position 2 okay so that is our template uh, ID so when we pass the information, we have to reference to this uh, this key so that our data will go into this template, okay? Let's, let's uh, quickly talk about this uh, software developer manual here, uh, which is available on uh, brother.com. Um, so I was really amazed to look at all this uh, you know, well-documented uh, manual, uh, which will tell you how to uh, pass the commands into this printer. Um, so for example, if you go and look at this, uh, this table of uh, different commands, uh, it will give you a detailed description of uh, how you have to initialize the printer and uh, you know how to pick the object and how to pass uh, information to the template and all that stuff okay 
So for example, let me go to this uh, table here. For example, if you want to start printing, uh, this is the actual binary code, which is the, actually the hexadecimal, and this is the ASCII code, okay? So you have to, um, you know, compile all these commands in a series and then pass it to the printer. So there are different commands for selecting the template and, uh, you know, for initializing the printer. Um, for example, if you want to um, select the object number or by object name, and then you can actually directly insert the data into the printer, okay? So here's the manual for that. Okay, guys, so last step, uh, let's take a look at the PLSQL package that will pass information to this uh, printer. So I'm using the vision instance to um, uh, pass information to this printer here. Um, I wrote a very simple package which consists of a procedure and a function. Uh, the procedure is uh, what is used to pass the information. So it has uh, four sets of object and text combinations. Okay, so you will pick the, the object name here and you will pass the data using this text field. So there are four combinations of those, uh, object one, two, three, four. And then um, there's a parameter for passing the template number. If you remember, our uh, template was on number two, right? Uh, so you can pass uh, the, the template number using this parameter. And this is the IP address of the printer. And then uh, finally, this is the port number of the printer. Uh, the port is uh, the raw port of the printer is always 9100 but for some reason if you have to change it you can okay then um, each of this object and text combination uh, we will be passing in uh, ascii and then uh, we have to concatenate some hexadecimal so this function will actually take each of those combination and we'll be calling this function to transform that data into hexadecimal and back to ascii okay so let's take a look at the body itself um, so here what's happening is uh, we'll be opening a TCP connection using the the IP of the printer and the port number then um, so there is a command to um, make the printer start processing the data so this is the hexadecimal command and uh, the UTL raw function it will convert it back to ASCII okay and then uh, for each of the object and text combination we will be calling our function so if object 1 is not null and if object 2 is not null and so on uh, you can pass up to four objects here for this demo but you can actually get creative and uh, use an array method or a table method uh, if you have a lot of fields right and then uh, finally after you compile all this data which you pass to this printer you can actually finally issue the print command here so this is the hexadecimal code for the print command and um, Finally, what will happen is uh, you will be writing this uh, TCP data into the printer here using the UTL TCP write line command. And then uh, you have to pass a write line. Uh, you have to pass an empty line, uh, which will actually um, execute the above command. So it is just like an enter key, right? So this command here. And after you are done, you will be closing the connection. Okay. Okay, guys. So we took a look at our uh, APIs, which we wrote for passing the information. So let's look at the actual code which will call the API. So here is the API here, very simple uh, program uh, which will call the uh, the init function, and it will pass the the object name and the the related uh, data combination into the printer. So I have three sets of uh, data here. If you remember, our template had a QR code, uh, an item, and the description, right? And this is the related data for that. Okay, so the idea here is uh, you can actually uh, you know call the API from a concurrent program or uh, maybe like a forms personalization, uh, and uh, you know pass this kind of information into the printer. Okay, and uh, here is a parameter for the picking the template itself. So our template was number two on the list, and then uh, the actual IP address of the printer. So for example, if you had like uh, four or five printers uh, in your network, and then uh, you can actually pick the printer by the IP address. Okay, so let's go and execute this. Okay guys, so I'm just going to execute our code here, which will uh, send the data to our printer. So here you go. Okay, that's our label. That's our QR code, the item number, and uh, the description. Okay, thanks for watching the video.